What up guys, Derek here with Breaking Rice and we're here in the uptown neighborhood of Chicago here at Sunwa Barbecue and I'm here with Sani with Celebrate Argyle and the crew and we're gonna have some lunch today. So let's check out this menu. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay guys, we're here with the owner, Kelly. Hi. And we have some questions about the menu. So we're looking at this barbecue combination. What 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 comes in that? So the barbecue combination, if you do the large for this group, mm -hmm. uh, you'll get roast pork, barbecue pork, soy sauce chicken, and roast duck. And that is a sampling of all the, our main barbecue items okay. that we are pretty known for in here. That you think, I think we are gonna do that, but is okay. there anything else that you think we should get that we need to try? Uh, off the barbecue side, if I have it available, I would do the salt baked chicken. That's one of the things that uh, we're also very popular for. I'm looking at this pig's intestine just because <laughs> it's fun it's fun yeah, yeah. i think we're gonna do it i of think that. you should too because uh, cool. ours is pretty popular they're crispy but not like super oily our guys here they they know what they're doing this is the place to come for it uh i would this is the only place i would eat it <laughs> nice nice okay cool so that that maybe some steam buns maybe a plate of noodles let's do it okay Cool. I'll get these in and then uh, make sure the chicken's there and if not, we'll find you something else to eat. Sounds like a plan. Cool. All right. I'll be back. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we ordered a bunch of food, guys. And while we wait, we're here with the Celebrate Algar crew, and we're gonna find out a little bit more about what they do. Um, I'll go. I'll go ahead and start first. So first off, thank you so much for inviting some of us here. Really excited to have you join us over here in the Argyle area. Now, Celebrate Argyle initially started, I would say, give or take, in the early parts of the pandemic, so okay. early 2020, as a result of all the anti-Asian hate that was happening in uh, yeah. the United States. And so we wanted to find a way to shift that narrative of thinking that we're the issue, we're problems, um, people not supporting our businesses. Mm -hmm. And we ended up creating Celebrate Argyle and shifting that narrative to celebrating us and our communities mm -hmm. and our contributions wow. to Chicago, right? Um, the cool thing about Celebrate Argyle is it initially started with you know, Southeast Asian individuals, but right. as you can see, it's grown to like individuals like Noah. People just appreciate and understand the importance of diversity. Right. So we have a pretty like eclectic group of community members. Like we're all volunteers. None of us get paid or anything like that. We're just all volunteers and we kind of just do what we can to help continue to bring people to this area. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, definitely we love that story. We love the mission and a toast to our culture and to new friends and to shared success in our in our in our journeys. Oh my gosh, guys! Look at all this food. It's, it's here. There's so much stuff. But uh, we're gonna have uh, Kelly here kind of explain some of the special specialties that they do here. This is our barbecue combination. It's a sampler of all of our most popular barbecue items. Uh, so this is our roast duck here on the uh, my right. And then next to it is the soy sauce chicken. Barbecue pork is the red tenderloin on this side. And then this is our roast pork with the crispy skin and bones on. Uh. Um, but my personal uh, preference I was is, gonna ask. Yeah, not soy sauce chicken because my dad and I are salt freaks. And this is our salt baked chicken. So it started out being cooked literally on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, it would be wrapped in a special paper and then you bake it in a salt mound mm -hmm. and you, you're like, on over open fire. So you have a very uh, wow. flavorful chicken, but it's not, it actually is not highly salted. It's just, it has a very salt, uh, like a salt flavor, smoky salt flavor to it. Sort of like smoke the salt. You really need like really hot yes. oven. <laughs> so you can't make this at home. It's so a little hard to, to make come it here to get yeah, it. Yeah, it's a little that's hard the, to make that's it. The, that's the whole key. And yeah, same, like I was going to say, like with the roast pork, like mm -hmm. I've tried making roast pork at home. And you just can't get, you, yeah, you can't, because it, it doesn't get hot enough. No, and there are ways to cheat, Yeah. but as you're eating it, you can taste it. So you just can't do it at home. Okay. You just got to come have, here. We have our secret ways. We yes. call it ancient Chinese secret. Okay, so now it comes the time that we're all waiting for. It's time to break rice, so let's all dig in. All right, go, go for it. Awesome. Ooh, I get the special yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly, just understanding the importance of your family's restaurant here, 
Why is it so important to keep Hong Kong style cooking Hong Kong style? Okay, so if we use my dad as an example, and he's definitely not 100% everything that is the embodiment of Hong Kong style food, right? But if in America we're gonna call him at 100%, and between my siblings, I, the three of us, we're maybe 70% of what he can do. Uh, how do I keep that 70% from even degrading when it comes to our children. So my kids, Dil diluting my, to the generations. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it does get diluted. Yeah. Any kind of traditional food does get diluted. What are they gonna remember? They're gonna remember things that grandma cooked, mom cooked, and so they'll cook, but it's only the one item. Whereas Hong Kong style food, there are so many different ways. And I would prefer to keep it the complicated way because my dad would say, you know, we need to automate things. We need to simplify things. Um, so that way people who don't know our food can still cook it because we have to hire non-Chinese. There are not that many Chinese people that want to come in the trade anymore. And even yep, the ones who yep. do, they don't want to, they don't want to toil for like 18 hours a day anymore. Over 600 degree yeah, stoves. Yeah, exactly. Like. And so the longer I can do it, the better. And that's the, what makes yeah. Sunwa so special. We try to keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, basically to, to add to Argyle, just mm -hmm. being able to recommend your place and say this is where you can get Hong Kong style food, legit Hong Kong style food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think that is the most important part yeah. that people don't realize. And Sunwa has been a staple of Argyle, I mean, since I was born. I've been coming here since I was a little kid. All right, guys, we had an amazing meal here. We're so full, we're so stuffed, there's so much food left, and we're gonna take it home because it's delicious. You can't let it go to waste, but I just wanna say thank you to Kelly. Thank you for having us. Thank you for sharing your story. It's been amazing learning about the origins of Sunwa and, and the food. the food and thank you to celebrating Argyle for uh, joining us today and, and sharing us your story and your mission of maybe you can put it better than me highlighting uh, Asian culture in Chicago and its imprint and, and contributions to the community yes definitely right. and they have some upcoming events and we'll post links to those down below so please check those out stay tuned if you like what you see give us a like comment below where you want us to go next and follow for more <laughs>